What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alex Costa and today we are going over five fashion hacks that most guys don't ever do. But these hacks will save you time, they'll save you money and they will make you look better and more stylish. Now, if you like this video, if you learned something new, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and become part of the YouTube family, which now has over 2 million family members. We're growing so fast and I'm excited to keep bringing you guys as many videos as possible. All right, let's get started with fashion hack number one, removing wrinkles with a water bottle spray. I'm so glad that I learned this trick years ago because this is really a life changer and I hate ironing my clothes, man. It's just, I'm not a fan of like setting everything up, you know, waiting for the thing to warm up and then sometimes I just need it to happen a lot faster than that, okay? I remember the first time I saw my friend like spraying his clothes with the spray bottle and I'm like, dude, what the hell are you doing? Well, what I've discovered is if your clothes are a little wrinkled and you're on the go or in a rush, just hang them up and spray them with the water to get rid of the wrinkles. All you need is water, it's so easy. And look, the reality is if your shirt is completely wrinkled and messed up, be realistic. Sorry, dude, you're gonna have to iron it. There's no magic trick here, but if you just want a few wrinkles gone, this thing makes it easy. I'm actually disappointed. My mom never taught me this. Like, come on, mom. I wonder how many hours I wasted ironing my clothes when sometimes I definitely did not need to do that. Next up, let's chat about an issue that every guy has with jeans. And I'm talking about the infamous jeans crunch. I've seen this happen way too much. Your pants just crunch up around your crotch area and it looks like you got a little bit too excited. If this is happening to you, then it means that your pants are too big for you around the waist area. A lot of men thinking that just wearing a belt or making it really tight is gonna fix the problem, but the truth is, it's not, it's actually gonna make it worse. It's gonna crunch up more. The proper way to fix this issue is to bring your pants to the nearest tailor. Have them get rid of any excess fabric and make sure they fit you the way they're supposed to. Look, at the end of the day, jeans are expensive, right? They can be expensive. So it's worth reviving them by spending a little bit extra money at the tailor instead of wearing jeans that just don't fit you right or buying new jeans. Next up, an easy trick that will change your outfits completely, as simple as it sounds, but it's true, tuck in your shirt. And I'll be honest, I'm a little bit ashamed of this, but not long ago, I thought that tucking in my shirts or t-shirts was kind of lame. But then I stopped to think about it. I was the one who was being pretty lame. Fashion is about being yourself, trying new things, showing off different personalities. So when I started tucking in my t-shirts and floral shirts, I just discovered like a whole new world. I'm not saying you should always tuck in your shirt, but sometimes you're gonna find that just by changing one thing, that one little thing, you're gonna change your look completely. You're gonna look completely different. And that's because most guys think that you can only tuck in your button up shirt or your collared shirt for a special event. And that's not true. You know, you can wear a very casual outfit and tuck in your t-shirt like this to add a cool detail to your fit. And if you wanna see some examples of that, I have so many fashion pictures on my Instagram. I post there almost every single day. My Instagram is at Alex Costa. And as you can see, I hope that I inspire you in some way, whether it's through fashion, you know, men's hairstyle or my travels. I'm gonna leave the link to my Instagram in the description right below the video, so go check it out. The next tip is to, whenever possible, do not shop alone. Bring someone with you. Shopping isn't something that you want to rush, and it's proven that we rush a lot more when we're alone. But Alex, my friends have a totally different style than mine. Guys, that's fine. But having an extra pair of eyes and some different opinions is super helpful. You don't have to always do what they want, but learning to take criticism and hearing others out is a skill that we could all work on. And bringing a girl along might be a really good idea too. Sometimes it's good to get a female perspective, right? Especially if you're looking for an outfit for a special event or for a date. Pro tip for you guys who maybe have lame friends who don't want to go shopping with you. I know that happens to me sometimes. Ask a random person at the store, I swear. This is a great way too. Number one, meet a new person. Maybe you see a cute girl, right? And then you just go up to her and ask her for her opinion on a shirt that you're trying on. Why not? It's a great icebreaker. It's an easy conversation starter. And number two, you're gonna get some real feedback. This is a person who does not know you. They don't care you know, about your feelings because they just met you. So they're not trying to please you. They're just gonna give you their honest feedback. It's a win-win. This next tip might be a little weird or sound weird, but it's true. Dry cleaning is not good for your clothes, so try to do it less often. I remember when dry cleaning all of my clothes all the time used to be like one of my dreams, right? I'm like, one day I'm gonna be able to afford dry cleaning all of my clothes. In reality, I learned that dry cleaning your clothes all the time really damages your clothes. The dry cleaning process is a harsh 
process. So the high drying temperatures and the chemicals used in the dry cleaning process can damage your garments or slowly decrease your lifespan. I'm not saying you shouldn't dry clean, but only dry clean, you know, when you absolutely have to, a suit before an event, of course, get that done, you know, or a piece that just can't be really washed in the washer. And if you only have a small stain somewhere, then try to hand wash that specific area to get rid of the stain instead of dry cleaning the whole thing. And let's not forget how expensive dry cleaning is. All right, you're gonna be saving some money in two ways, by saving your clothes, and from the dry cleaning bill. Guys, don't forget to follow my Instagram. It's at Alex Costa for some summer inspiration there. I've been posting a ton of pics and even videos there, all right, that I don't usually post here on YouTube. So go check it out. I'm actually going to Hawaii for the first time this week and I'm really excited, okay? So let me know if you guys have been, what I should be doing, what I should expect, because I have no idea. I'm gonna be there for a few days and I'm pumped to just relax under the sun. Make sure you hit that subscribe button below, become part of the YouTube family, and thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you again soon. Peace.